Okay, so there's two ships. They're going the same speed, they're going the same direction, and they're parallel right to each other, and they're out in the open ocean. Now this one ship decides to change its trajectory by three to four degrees. Just a little turn to the right, or starboard, I guess it's called, and over weeks and months, it's in a completely different part of the globe. Right, so it doesn't seem like much at the time, like, oh, the ship's barely turning, that's not gonna do anything. But over time, when you held consistent with those small changes, it radically changes where you're at. So the reason I use that analogy is for when you're trying to change your lifestyle factors. Like let's say you're not drinking enough water, you're not sleeping, you're not exercising, and you're doing pretty bad. You got like a D on your fitness report card. Instead of trying to change everything at once, which is basically the equivalent of you're going the wrong direction, so you just panic and just crank the wheel and you flip over, you know, and it's a catastrophe, a disaster. Instead, you're just like, okay, I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna slowly apply the brake. I'm gonna come to a nice, safe stop. I'm gonna find the next exit and I'm gonna turn around. So same with, okay, I'm not, I'm gonna start with something simple. I'm just gonna make sure I drink enough water and I'm gonna get some of those electrolyte packets or an electrolyte mix or get some real salt or Celtic sea salt and I'm just gonna focus on staying hydrated every day. So two o'clock doesn't come around and I'm just dehydrated as all hell and I can't even function. And it's what they call like the two, 2 p.m. slump which a lot of times is just dehydration and just literally mostly water and you don't have good fluid balance or electrolyte balance and you're just your body almost wants to shut down because it's primarily water so just adhering something simple like that so over weeks and months and then you're like wow i can do that that's pretty easy and then you stack something else on top of it but you want to make sure that that solid foundation is very very solid so that's why you start with the simple thing you do it for weeks, and you do it for months, and then it just becomes part of who you are. It's your identity. And then you're like, okay, well, that's that's solid. That's a solid foundation. That's like dried concrete. So we can put something else on top of that. So instead of trying to build everything at once, you know, kind of panic building, like, oh, let's, let's pour the concrete. Let's uh, get the blueprints. Let's put up the frame. Let's get everything. Let's get the roofers in there the same day. Let's you know, I use the analogy of the construction site because it's just easier to visualize. Like, because you, you are building something, it's just, you know, metaphorical and it's, and it's in your mind. So start with simple things, slowly change your direction and just maintain that, that change for time. Like, oh, it's, it doesn't seem like much, but I'm gonna stay consistent. I'm gonna drink water every day. I'm gonna get electrolytes every day. And before you know it, it'll just become a habit and then you could stack another one and another one and another one and another one, but it just takes time and it takes dedication and you gotta do it when you're tired and you gotta do it when you're mad and you gotta do it when you don't feel like doing it. And, but that's what makes it so special because not everybody can do it. So remember it's, it's small changes over time. So you have to pay your dues. Time has to elapse, right? That's the sacrifice you make. You, you sacrifice that time. You can never get back. Right, time is the most valuable asset. It, you know, even a rich old man, like, what would he do? He'd give anything to be 30 again or 40 again, even, you know, just to have more time. So you got to pay the piper with the time. But if you stay consistent with the small changes, it's going to pay dividends. So I hope this helps if you're feeling overwhelmed with making changes or you see all these influencers or you see people say like oh keto vegan high carb low carb don't eat before 11 you know stop eating at night like just start with something simple and just hold on to it just hold on to it and i use the water thing because it's simple just drink enough water and get electrolytes and just stick with it and you'll notice it'll build confidence and it will build It'll build this system, this baseline of things you just do. Like when you get in your car, you just put on your seatbelt. You just, you do certain things. So it just from years and years of doing it. So just make it a habit and be patient and realize that it takes time. And it's gradual changes that you stay consistent. That Those are the people that 
they don't just lose 30 pounds and then gain it back the next month. You know, their, their, their whole entire lifestyle changes, but it's gradual and it's at an appropriate speed. You're not, you're not being reckless and you're not like, Oh, I'm just going to change everything right this second. And I'm just going to completely change my identity. And it's just not realistic. That's not how humans work. You've got to gradually do it. Just like when you're, you're trying to reduce your coffee intake or anything you're using, you don't just abruptly stop because you're gonna have withdrawal and you're not gonna be able to function. You're not gonna be able to go to work, you're not gonna be able to talk to people, it's just, it's stupid. So you're drinking this much coffee, then you do three quarters, and then you do a half, and then you do a quarter, right? You gradually do it over time and then your body doesn't really notice it. And it's the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing across the board. You realize in life, like everything is kind of patterns. Like there's, similarities in everything so in, in a lot of ways life is complicated but some ways it's all kind of the same thing it's just in different directions and different angles so i hope this helps if you're feeling overwhelmed just remember take it simple take it slow get a get a list and just write it write a couple things you're going to adhere to give it a couple months and then add some more so and it's and it's really that simple. It truly is that simple. Doesn't mean it's easy, but it really is that simple. So I hope this helps.